Hey everybody, thanks for, uh, thanks for coming to my talk and showing some interest. Um, I'll be showing this sli slide again uh, uh, during the questions portion so you can write that down or follow whatever. Uh, so um, my name is Steven, my friends call me Stevo. This is my 11th DEF CON and my first time uh, as a speaker, so um, yeah, this is kind of cool. Uh, this is uh, my third year participating in the wireless capture of the flag. My team has won three years in a row, uh, and two of the years uh, we won a black badge. Um, my day job is uh, I'm a system engineer, or uh, ops guy, as a lot of people like to call it, and uh, at night I like to play with security stuff. So um, now Rick gave a, a, a breakdown of what fox hunting was. I'm not sure uh, how many of you guys were there uh, when you saw him uh, go over that. But uh, basically they release people out there um, with Wi-Fi foxes in their pocket that um, have a BSS ID and, uh, associated with it. And we're supposed to uh, go out there and try to track it down, follow a... a where it is and ask, ask the person if they're the fox. Um, one of the new challenges, which kind of cool, I wrote this into my uh, program is uh, crack the, the WPA. Uh, so um, anyhow, the, the foxes actively avoid you. So if you have like a, a Wi-Fi cactus on your back and uh, you look like you're looking for somebody, you're not gonna catch the fox because they're gonna avoid you. Um, and sometimes they can go into non-public areas and go hide and stuff, so you have to like wait it out or what have you. Um, so you, you, have to, you have to kind of be stealth about it, and that's kind of what this tool what, is based on, is the ability to just have like your uh, pie hiding in your backpack or you know, wherever you want to put it, and uh, uh, search for the fox from aud audio cues. Um, so I just kind of went over this, uh, why, why I built this, um, and an inspiration was kind of like a Wi-Fi Ge Geiger counter. Wouldn't it be cool if you could like walk around and you know, the frequency of the uh, clicks would increase as you got cl closer to the, uh, the fox? Uh, so uh, last year, my, my team uh, captured a fox with version one of this software, and it's on GitHub. You can download it now, and you can like throw it on your Pi if you can get it to work. Um, uh, that, that version uh, has click only, so it's just sound. The configuration wasn't dynamic, so it didn't have a web UI or anything like that. And there wasn't any external interaction, like um, uh, pulling from an a API or something like that. So uh, version two is what I'm hopefully going to demo today, uh, if things go well. And uh, I'll go ahead and release that version uh, to my GitHub um, uh, repo uh, after DEF CON. Uh, this has a web UI. It's team aware, so I have a Slack integration. So you can, you can put a, a Slack command in, say like add Fox with the BSS ID, and it'll talk to the database, and my device will go and grab that dynamically. Um, it also has an a auto cracking feature with Wi Fi 2, uh, really cool tool. It like it's point and shoot. Uh, it's, it's really simple. Uh, if you haven't used it, I'd, I'd recommend giving it a shot. It's pretty neat. Um, I have other ideas. Uh, and actually, uh, Zero was just talking to me about maybe doing a little collaboration with this. So um, yeah, it might, might be cool. I had a lot of fun making this too, by the way. So uh, a minimal setup, uh, which is kind of what you see on the table here, is going to cost you about $90. Uh, so this particular version is ru running uh, Kali uh, on the Raspberry Pi, uh, so it's a, a Kali image. Um, I'm using an alpha adapter that uh, can go into monitor mode and do package inject injection. Uh, it has a USB sound card because I couldn't get the onboard version to work. Um, and uh, it's a little particular about the USB sound card, so some of them crash, so you have to find the right one. Uh, I'll probably work on that later. I didn't have time this, this go around. Uh, obviously, you have a battery pack and uh, headphones. So this is, uh, you, you can come up and look at it, or this is what it looks like uh, picture-wise. And I'll, I'll, I'll uh, post a link to the slides after so you can download them. So 
from a program flow perspective, um, so me as a, a user, I have my, my phone with me, and I'm connecting to a, a shared AP between me and the Pi, and um, I interface with a web UI where I can issue commands. I can select what BSS ID I want to scan for, and there's also a flag to cr uh, auto crack. Uh, so it's not turned on by default. Um, in the background, it's got a um, the scan the, the cracking adapter basically uh, that does the scanning, the signal scanning, and does the cracking. <coughs> The, the program uh, is controlled and it has a shared state among all the threads. Uh, this is the first time I've actually written a multi-threaded application too, which was, which was interesting. Um, so it's got a, a, the UI module, which you'll see where you, you control it. Uh, a sound module, which is what controls what is played sound-wise. Um, a signal scanner, which is telling, it's constantly polling when this is turned on. Uh, telling you what the, the um, signal strength is. And it de depending on what the situation is, it will play different sounds. And um, there's a module that pulls the, the uh, API to see if there's new foxes. And it will play sounds uh, depending on if, it's, if it successfully, successfully pulled it uh, or um, it had an error. And I don't know, you might, you might hear both sounds, you might just hear one. And yeah, so I kind of went over the, the Slack part. So the team could be sitting at the, the workstation and um, they can type a, a command into Slack that'll add the, the MAC address of the BSS ID. Um, that'll in turn go to a Flask app in AWS. Um, and um, the PyClicker will download the latest data. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of an interactive component. I, I do some of this for work, so the Slack stuff and the uh, API was, was kind of fun to do. Uh, so, yeah, I think I kind of went over some of the de design principles. Now I'm going to try to do a live demo. Uh, I have screenshots just in case it doesn't work. Uh, I've, I've practiced this a couple times, so like, we'll, see, uh, we'll see how this turns out. Um, all right, stand by. Configure BSC at 192.168.0.106. That's here's the web UI. And I'm going to select this BSS ID. Configure BSC at 192.168.0.106. All right, so sorry about that. Didn't realize I didn't have the microphone. Um, so I am going to, I clicked on the wrong one. I have two active APs, by the way, so. All right, so that's the sound where it's not picking up signal. And this should pick up in just a second. Anytime. All right. So who wants to who wants to go like run away? All right. Here you go. Do you need to come back? Yeah. Yeah. You need to come back. Yeah. I'd like my AP back. Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah. So you don't need to go very far. Like you know, I don't know. Go down that way a little bit. And, and he's holding it up to his badge. Now it doesn't do anything with the badge. Go go, uh, go that way a little bit. I want I want it to disconnect and play the uh, sonar sound. Can you guys hear this okay? Yeah. All right, cool. 
Hey, what's going on in the, the program here is like this is the debug stuff. It's not going to be nearly as verbose, uh, you know, when when it's actually enabled. All right, so we lost signal. All right, you can come back now. Oh, did you did you uh, did you have it on your? Okay. If you put it in tinfoil, it'll stop responding too. What's that? I think there's a lot going on in this room too, so it kind of makes sense. Or did it switch off? No. It's possible someone's messing with it too. Like that's that is a very. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> it. it uh, um, especially when there's not a whole lot of interference, it actually works pretty well. So in order for it to start cracking, it needs a number of successful pulls. How many is it at right there? Okay, 18. So that should be enough. And we're going to, let me see here. You guys haven't seen the web UI yet, have you? Sorry about that. I forgot that I had it up here. All right, so does it say enabled? We're cracking enabled? Yes. All right. Did I get it? Sorry, it's a little awkward. I mean, like, you know, you gotta, you gotta have something to listen to while it's doing its thing. And I may have lost connection to the pie. Let me make sure. Yeah. Second. All right, so that's Wi-Fi doing its thing. Now, I need to connect to it so it can properly de-auth. Did it cap it yet? I can't tell. Yeah, All right. All right, so now it's doing this cracking. And it's a pie, because this isn't very fast. I thought about offloading that to the AWS instance as well, but I uh, didn't have time. Any day now. All right. Configure VSC at one hundred ninety-two point one six. That's that's the tone to like. Okay, you can go on to the next one. You can go grab the fox and say, "This is the passphrase." So. Don't need any of those slides now. Uh, All right. This was just in case the demo got wonky. All right. So, does anybody have any questions? What's the? What's the it was like super secret, secure passphrase, or something like that. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Anybody have any other questions or? 
that word list, I was like 200K or something like that. The word list this, this year is like six, what, 335K, I think. Or actually, I'm sorry, uh, lines. Uh, so words, yeah. Yes. Uh, features, I want to add um, uh, Bluetooth scanning. I, I also, during the, during the uh, signal scanning portion, it's actually going through all the different uh, BSSIDs and names. Um, I also want to generate a list of BSSIDs that are dynamic in that web interface uh, that I showed you so that, I don't know, you can select one of those without having to actually do any configuration. Um, like I said, I didn't have time to do that, but uh, yes. Uh, no, no pictures, I guess. Uh, have I, have I, considered? yes, actually I have one. So, like, my, my thought is, like, when you're doing the fox hunting is you can use Omni to, like, get a general vicinity and then, like, when you have a lock on the fox and you can use a directional one. Yeah, so that's, that's the plan anyway. Yes, sir. I have thought about that. I have thought about that, but math is hard, and I didn't have enough time. So, uh, but yeah, that that that's an awesome suggestion. I have thought about it, but yeah, I, I didn't. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe version three. Uh, and like I said, like the the source code is going to be online. Uh, so, like, if you guys want to contribute, feel free. Uh, it's it's totally welcome if you can bear my crappy code. So. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much, and uh, thanks. <laughs>